Is it on? Well, it says it's on, but since you're the expert on this and you wouldn't let me help you. Oh, since you're the expert. Come on, let's try it. This thing says it should work. <laughs> Welcome to Bizarre Yet Unified, the podcast of the paranormal. Listeners, and welcome to Bizarre Yet Bonafide, the podcast of the paranormal. This time, however, we're going live for the first time. Uh, hopefully, I, I can't tell for sure. Together today, we're going to delve deep into the minds of mind fuckery. As we're taking another look at an old case. My name's Grace. Uh, Anton. My name's Anton, and frankly, someone refuses to tell me what we're doing here today. I don't even know why we're live. Well, thanks to our amazing supporters, I was finally able to afford a good router to get the internet going faster than my creative mind. <laughs> you mean your homeowner finally turned it on for you? Oh, shut up. Anyways, today, we're not here to argue. Although we might be at the end of this after someone finally admits I was right all along. <laughs> Keep dreaming. And, oh, for for God's sake, please don't tell me you contacted yet another miner just because you thought you had to lead on something. I am so glad you're asking, Anton, because to your surprise, I was actually once again contacted by someone else. Remember a few months ago? Wait, so you're saying the same person who contacted you after the quarry massacre did it again? Why? Like, what did they have to offer last time? Stop asking as if what we received was invaluable. Hmm. What is it? 45 viewers. Wow. Well, thinking of our wonderful viewers, I think it's best we do a small recap for them. So... Actually, miss, if you don't mind, I'd like to take over this one to remind our wonderful listeners what happened last time. Unlike you, I'd like to present facts. But... Basically, right after the massacre in Hackett's Quarry, someone who claimed that they were included in the massacre sent us a few things as, um, evidence. Like some meat, a vial filled with blood, then what was it, a letter from Kaylee Hackett, and a photo taken by one of the counselors? Exactly. And if you ask me, this is enough evidence to know that there is, or was perhaps something sketchy about the Hackett's, and that there might actually be werewolves. Oh, and how on earth would these four items be related to that? It simply seems like someone sent it to us to get clout following a fucking tragedy. I mean, if you think about it, dogs eat meat, so that's that. The meat has blood, so that's the other thing. And then the photo, like the actual fucking photo of the monster. Uh, and the letter? I think we can like ignore that for now. It was irrelevant, I guess, but basically we actually had a lead for once. And oh, remind me again, who got scared and wanted to go to the police because of those? Yeah, yeah, it was me. I admit, I got scared. But like, like the same day, like seven of the Hackett's were found dead. It truly didn't make me feel any better knowing that they're investigating everything about them weeks before this happened. Sorry if I had actual emotions like a human being and wanted to do what I thought was important. Come on, buddy. I'm sorry. You know, that's not what I meant. Can we, um, continue? Yeah, sure, I, I, I guess. Awesome. Well, today we're going to use the element of surprise and open a mysterious email I was sent yesterday, which claims to have some footage that could help us uncover the mysteries we missed last time. And normally I would have done it alone, but I always think of my wonderful colleague here. Aw, that's sweet. I know. And therefore, we're going to open it together with our amazing listeners. Wait, so you're saying you received some footage that you haven't seen yet and you want to play it live? <laughs> Come on, Grace. You've been on the internet long enough to know that trolls exist. Literally anything could be on that footage of yours, even like porn or whatnot. Stop being so narrow-minded for once and look. That's the footage. Grace, I swear to God, if I see a penis today, I'm gonna... Wait, it, is that Max Brindley? Like, the Max Brindley from the massacre? I know, right? Excited yet? What? No, I mean, it, it looks like he's in a police department. Grace, do you know what you're doing? Who sent you this footage? I mean, why wouldn't I? If anything, this could help us finally crack the code to all of this craziness. This footage. 
we're so close and I swear to God, I'm not going to any woods again. I don't know. Like, I genuinely think this is not a good idea. Come on, you know how much your follower count could rise after this? That's why we're going live. Maybe the viewers could help us uncover what happened. They won't be able to hear us. Please, Grace, don't do this. Come on, what's the worst that could happen? You know what they say, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Okay, Mr. Custos, for the record, can you please repeat one more time what- Man, I already told you what fucking happened! Sir, we understand you're in distress, but please calm down. Calm down? I've been chased by fucking werewolves the entire night, half naked, and almost died a million fucking times. Don't tell me to calm down. Okay. Okay. Can you please start from the beginning? Your friend Miss Mountbank said you two were at the lake. So, she's okay? Emma, I mean, the last time I saw her, she fell, but into water, and I ran, but she's okay, right? Miss Mountbank and Miss Bly were found safe in the bunker. Thank God. Sir, the lake? Oh. Yeah, but we were at the fire pit, and then Emma just fucking kissed Nick! It was bullshit, so... I went to the lake. Why did you leave? Huh? Why were you upset? Be because she kissed another guy, like, right in front of me. But Miss Mountbank said you two were broken up. And the reason she'd kissed Mr. Frasillo was yeah, on a dare. Fuck, fuck you. <laughs> Doesn't matter. I, I went to the docks and she followed me. We talked and we went swimming. And that's the reason you aren't wearing any clothes? Oh, no, I just thought it'd be fun to fucking strip, strip naked while getting chased by a bunch of fucking hillbillies. Do we really have to do this? I mean, my night has been horrible, and I'm so tired. Yes, we have to do this. We found dead bodies, destruction of Hackett's Quarry, and all of you kids look like hell. So, Emma, what happened last night at Hackett's Quarry? Well, it was the last day, and we were supposed to leave, but of course the stupid car shut down. So... We had to stay. Okay. Then what happened that night? Campfire. God, it was a wreck. What exactly happened at the campfire? We decided to play truth or dare, so that kind of resulted in me kissing Nick, which made Abby wander off into the forest. And Jacob. Jacob started screaming at Nick and me. <sighs> Guess truth or dare wasn't the best choice after all, huh? Hey, uh, do you know where Laura is? I, I need to see her. She, she didn't come back. Do you know what happened last night at Hackett's Quarry Summer Camp? I have no idea. I was on the island. I, I have no idea what happened the rest of the night. Tell me, Mr. Brindley, why were you alone on the island with bears around? What? It's a simple question. Look, Laura and I decided it would be best for me to be there. And leave you alone with bears around. That's not very smart. It was the best idea for me to be there. She approved of it. Now, can you take me to see her? I need to see her. You will see her when we finish this interview, Mr. Brindley. Can you tell me about what happened last night? Can we please just go home? You will not believe us. I'm afraid you can't do that. We've got nine kids, a pile of dead bodies, and a destroyed summer camp on our hands. I'm sorry. I, yeah, I get it. It's just... It was like something out of a movie. It was crazy. First, we were just like sitting by the fire pit, just playing through the dare. And then, out of nowhere, Nick got attacked. And then, these creatures, they were everywhere, and they were all coming after us. And we thought they were bears at first, but they were definitely not bears because they were so big. Please, just, just try to speak clearly for the recording. Sorry. Yeah, no, got it. Thank you. I had... I had never seen Nick like that before. He was... He was what, Abigail? He was animalistic. Which, I mean, looking back at it now, I guess it makes sense, but... He, he hurt me. 
really, really bad. I thought I'd killed him. Hello. Mind telling us who you are? M my name is Nick. Nick Vasilo. Nick, there's a lot of blood on you. Is it yours? I, I, I don't know. I don't remember anything. Really? Can you at least name the last thing you remember? I was so hungry and in so much pain. The water was burning my skin. That there was something inside of me trying to crawl out. It wanted to attack my friends and I pushed Abby. Is Abby all right? Abigail Bly is being interviewed by one of my colleagues. She's in shock, but she's alive and not seriously hurt. Do you... Do you think... I'm a monster? So, Caitlin, could you tell us exactly what happened yesterday at Hackett Quarry's summer camp? It... It was fucking crazy. We spent the entire summer thinking that we were at a normal summer camp and then all of a sudden we're attacked by these hunters and werewolves or something. Okay then, hunters and werewolves. Then how will you explain the human bodies we found in the pool and the lodge who were both shot with a shotgun? That wasn't the werewolves, was it? Did the hunters kill no. them? Wait, listen. Shit got complicated. And none of us thought anything like this was going to happen. Like, ever, okay? We were defending ourselves. And, and the hunters were crazy. This big guy came after us. And then he disappeared after. I had to fight the motherfucker. All right, Ryan. Can you tell me what happened at Hackett's Quarry Summer Camp last night? Please, I just want to go home. I, I don't even know what happened. It all happened so fast. We have nine kids, dead bodies, and a destroyed camp. Let's start from the beginning. Why did you not leave the camp when Chris Hackett instructed you to? The van broke and we couldn't leave, so Dylan... Is Dylan okay? Dylan Levine is being interviewed by my colleague. Please continue. Dylan suggested we stay out and party. Found a day as cancelers, but, but it all happened. It went so wrong. What attacked Abigail Bly and Nicholas Frisello in the forest? We thought it was a bear, but I never seen a bear like that. Nick got bit pretty bad. So the animal wasn't a bear? No, please. I know it sounds crazy, but it wasn't a bear. It was something bigger. Something different. Can you tell me what happened to your arm? Yeah. Um, so me and Ryan went to the radio shack to... I had this idea to blast them with a high frequency pitch to like scare them. I thought their hearing, these creatures hearing might be like dogs, but they broke the wire. So when I was trying to fix it, I got like scratched and I didn't want it to get like infected, I guess. So I just told Ryan to cut it off. Why would you do that? I don't know. Instinct. I guess, maybe, I don't know. Ryan, please explain why you cut off Dylan Levine's hand. I don't know. He told me to, I wasn't thinking too much. He, he was in so much pain, so I just did it. Think about it, now after what Nick turned into, wherever that was, I think I might have saved his life. What is your relationship with Ryan? Acquaintances? He wasn't very fond of me at first. Can you explain further? He threatened to shoot me. Wasn't very threatening. I thought this is all my fault. What do you mean, Miss Mountainbank? Abby, I, I shouldn't have kissed Nick. God, I'm so stupid. It's all my fault that everything happened. Miss Mountainbank, just calm down. None of it was your fault. Please forgive me, Abby. Can I see her after this? Yes, after you and her are done, you can see her. Thanks. Okay, sir. 
Miss Mountainbank said you left? Well, yeah, she swam away, and I heard Abby scream, so I ran after her. Okay, so earlier you said werewolves? Well, Your friends did too? Yeah, I mean, I don't know if they were werewolves, but I was locked up with one of them for like an hour. You look anxious. Are you okay, Abigail? It is Emma okay? Is Nick okay? Yes, both of them are safe and being questioned. Just a little shaken up is all. Uh, thank you. I hear you stayed in the North Kill Police Station for the whole summer, is this true? True. Of course it is, we were there the whole fucking time. You didn't escape until the last minute, why is that? There's no other police officers. There wasn't? I... What? Well... We were stuck there, and, uh, you know, we had tried to come up with every possible thing we could have done to get out of there, but we were just... stuck. We thought someone was trapped. We wanted to help. The mask got attacked. It went by so fast, I barely remember anything. What do you remember, Laura? Travis Hackett. Have you talked to him yet? We can't disclose any of that information. Well, if you do, just know everything he says is bullshit. All right, and when you say hillbillies, you mean the Hackett family? Yeah, yeah, yes, they're fucking crazy. They kidnapped me. One of them set a fucking trap to hang me against a fucking tree and poured blood on me, and then I got my foot stuck in a bear trap they set up. I mean, what the actual fuck? This never would have happened if I hadn't broken the... Sir, what? What? You were about to say you broke something? I broke the van. Excuse me? Do, do you want to hear me say it in Spanish? I broke the van. On purpose? Yes. That's illegal. That's a serious offense. Why would you do something like that? I just, I just wanted one more night here with Emma. So you committed vandalism? Yeah, I know. I know. I'm. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. It won't. It won't happen again. I'm. I'm sorry. I just didn't know what to do. Okay, sir. Calm down. Take a break. Just breathe. I'm so sorry. I'm telling you that it chased me. God, I almost didn't get out of there in time. Slow down, Emma. Who's in it? The werewolf. It. It came from the treehouse, which where I was at. It chased me. If Jacob didn't leave me out of there, none of this would have happened. Do you think I'm a monster? Why would you ask this kind of question? Well, I was bitten in the leg by something in the woods. I was trying to protect Abby and then something attacked me. At first, I, I thought it was a bear, but it was, it was too big for one. And after I was bitten, it felt like, like I, I was infected. I know it sounds stupid, but did, did I turn into one of those creatures? I'm sorry, Nick. We're still trying to figure that out. But thank you for talking to us. All right. So these creatures, you thought they were bears? Yeah, we thought they were bears at first, but... <laughs> I know it's crazy, but, like, they were like werewolves or something. <laughs> you saw the full moon last night. I know that's so stupid, but like... It's okay. Just calm down, please. Is Ryan okay? He's currently being questioned by my colleague, and I'm afraid I, I can't tell you anymore. Yeah, no. That's enough. Thank you. Please, describe the animal. It's all such a boy. It's big, 
standing on its hind legs. It wasn't fluffy, but skin like. I don't know. I just know it wasn't anything like I've seen before. Are we done? I just want to go home. I don't know how to describe it to you. It's okay, Abigail. Just try your best. Okay. It, it was really, really tall. And like, bald? I don't know. It was fuzzy. We thought it was a bear, but obviously we were wrong. It looked like one. Like what? A bear. A skinny bear. We already spoke with your friend Dylan. Um, he said that once you returned to the lodge, you saved his life. But we also found the body of a boy we identified as Caleb Hackett. Did well, you know him? Yes, but I didn't know it was him at the time. What do you mean you didn't know it was him? Were you not listening to me? I said whatever we fought definitely wasn't human. It was a fucking beast. And it was going to attack us. If I hadn't shot him, we would have been dead on the spot. <laughs> I got lucky when Abby gave me those silver shells. Silver shells? Oh, yeah. Sorry. Silver shells. The normal ones would have just made it mad. But, um, you can ask Laura about those. Yeah. I'm sure she'll have a lot to tell you. I didn't want to kill him, I swear. I just had to. Why is that? To save Max. I won't leave Max. No matter what. This Laura you're talking about, do you know what she did throughout the night? Considering you are her boyfriend. I have no idea what happened. I keep telling you people the same damn thing. Calm down, Mr. Brindley. Your girlfriend murdered multiple people last night. She did what? That's, that's not possible. It is. You need to take me to her. I need to see her. You people have no clue what happened. I'm still conducting this interview, Mr. Brindley. Laura. It's odd how you have no idea what she did. You're in her outfit as well, can you explain that? I... I lost mine? You know, someone... took them? Someone? Someone else on the island with you? That is a very different story from what you've been telling me. Well, I don't know. All I know is that I woke up on the island, I lost my clothes, put on Laura's, and I waited at the dock for her. Now, can you please take me to her? I think I've said enough. You know, this is quite the story, Laura, but I think you and I both know- I know how it sounds, but I'm telling the truth you need to believe me! Miss Kearney, you can't possibly expect me to believe something like this. It's like something out of a horror movie, and if I'm being honest, I'm getting fed up with you kids and your fairy tales. I don't care if you're getting fed up. You need to listen to me for one fucking second! I'm gonna need you to calm down. You aren't helping your case here. It was the Hackett's fault in the first place. I'm sorry? Kaylee and Caleb, they started that fire at Harem Scarum six years ago. They got all of those workers to free one boy! Wait, they started that fire? Yeah, that boy was Silas. Silas bit Caleb, Caleb bit Kaylee and Chris, and the whole infection started from there! Laura, I'm not done. You know, Travis has been trying to stop this for six years. The least you think he could do to repay me is not get me thrown in fucking prison! This is... quite the accusation, Laura. I know it sounds crazy, but I'm telling the truth.
Oh. <laughs> Anton? I... I... It's, it's okay. Listen, everything is just fine. <laughs> no, Grace, stop. This this is actually serious. Like, actually fucking serious. No, but hey, I, I really don't think this is as bad as it seems, right? Like, let's just calm down. <laughs> what reason is it to calm down? Don't you realize what just happened? Can't you see? We just showed highly confidential footage live in front of tens of viewers. Anton, no... <laughs> It's probably fake after all you said it yourself like oh do you really think this is fake you who always makes every little thing so serious come on grace i know you're naive at times but anton can't you see i'm trying to make our situation just a bit better here oh okay and you want to do that by what lying to these guys anton will you just quit it already the only thing we can do now is fix things instead of making them worse Hello, everyone, again. Sorry, we just took a small break to discuss some stuff. Yeah, and we've come to the conclusion that it is in everyone's favor if we turn the live off. I mean, you could at least admit that I was right all along. What? I mean, you're the one who's always been so doubtful of what I had to say. Even when someone sent us, like, actual evidence you've always wanted. <laughs> well, you know what? I admit, I was wrong, but come on now, give me the mouse and let's turn off the live before, the, I don't know, the police arrive or something? But shouldn't we, like, analyze what they said or- Grace, give me the fucking mouse. Okay, okay, Jesus, you're gonna break this thing. Well, bye. Bye. <laughs>